Hey, it is Luke, and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be show you a. I'm gonna. Sh I'm gonna be show you what the heck. I'm gonna show you. Sorry for my stumble over my words there. Just me. Boop. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna show you how uh, my tool that I made in Batch that allows you to create Batch. Ba basically, Batch and Batch. It's pretty fun. I'll show you how it's done. So I have my uh, uh, Google search engine brought up, and I want you to go to to download this file. Go to file dropper dot com slash batch maker. Okay, batch maker. Make sure you spell everything correctly. I will leave a link in the description to the download page. So now. You're going to click download this file and do the recaptcha. For the captcha, this isn't exactly recaptcha, but it's a captcha. Anyway, just do the captcha and it will download. Now, it's only a couple bytes, so it's obviously not a virus, and I created it myself. Unless, um, uh, file dropper is harmful, which it isn't, obviously, because I wouldn't use something that's harmful. Um, which, so yeah, it's, it's, what I'm trying to say is it's safe. So, you can put it anywhere, really. I'm just going to put it on my desktop. I'm back on. And, so now that you have it, if your antivirus detects it, or maybe Chrome detects it, or whatever, as malicious, don't worry, it's not malicious, just allow it. Now, double click on it. And you should, give me a second, my computer is really potato. Yeah, here we go. Should see Windows protected your PC. Microsoft Defender Smart Screen pre prevented an unrecognized app from starting. Running this app may put your PC at risk. Click more info and click run anyway. So now you'll see this. Luke's Batch File Maker. Enter code below. Now I'll show you a simple code that you can make. So at echo off is the most simplest command. As you can see, it already did create the batch file. That's just whenever you do your code, it updates. So anyway, you will be able to rename it. I'll just show you. So as you can see, right now it's batch file random dot bat. Anyway, so at echo off, you know, echo whatever, hello world, right? And then pause. So this is a simple program that will echo, uh, basically turn the echo off. Which basically, you don't see the C colon slash stuff. And then just print hello world on the screen and pause the program. Now, you may just go Ctrl C right now. Don't do that. Make sure you make a new line after all your code. Maybe two new lines. I do two just for fun. And then go Ctrl C. I will say one file is copied, name, and then s s name, this weird thing, and a hat, and then a C, name of file. So this is where you can rename your file. So I'm going to name it. You know, hello world, and hit enter. So now, as you can see, it says done, and it renamed our our batch file to hello world. Now, just press any key and it will close. So that is my program. And if we run hello world .bat, as you can see, it's functional. It did what we coded it to do, and yeah. So, uh, thank you. Wait, where's the delete key on my keyboard? Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in another one.